Hello and welcome to this accuracy video. This time we're going to be talking to you a little about some of our new transmitter stuff, which I think you're going to like. It's a lot easier to use, uh, a lot more intuitive, and but also more feature rich as well. So I'm going to click on transmitter, and so you've got this new transmitters dialog here where you can uh, set up multiple different transmitters. So if you use different transmitters on the sim, depending on what mood you're in or whatever, you can do that. So you can you click on the plus, add another transmitter, so you can have multiple transmitters. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to stick with the default. Um, so, if I click on device, it gives me the choice of what, how I want to, uh, what connection I'm using. So, uh, you've got all the different connections here for different these different presets. So they're pre-set up dependent on what you're using. So if you're using the accuracy dongle um, or an interlink or a Jetty USB, you know it's all or Spectrum somewhere multiplex they're all set up pretty pretty well so you should uh, be able to just click on that and then it all should just work um, in my case I'm going to be using a Futaba uh, if you're using an Xbox controller or one or something that's not uh, not here then you'll just use a generic game controller so I am using a Futaba transmitter and I am using um, the SBUX, SBUS receiver um, again here if you're yeah you can pick what you've got so uh, buddy box connection if you're connecting um, the transmitter to the this is, this is only applicable to the accuracy dongle this bit really so buddy box if you're just connecting straight into the back of the receiver to the transmitter if you've got a ppm receiver like a jetty um, rx2 or something like that that just puts out ppm but needs power then you pick this same thing with the SBUS receiver, same thing with the satellites, Spectrum satellites. Uh, we've got uh, V-Bar, Control USB, Interlink and a con just generic game controller. So those those different inputs you've got there. So I'm going to be using an SBUS receiver. Uh, if you've got, if you're using Spectrum satellite and it's not already bound to your transmitter to the model memory, then you can you can bind that here. I won't cover that here. Okay, so the next bit we're going to have a quick look at is the device uh, option down the bottom here. And what that does is, if you've got multiple devices, USB devices plugged into your computer, like uh, joysticks and um, steering wheels and gear shifters and pedals and all that sort of thing, uh, then they will appear in this list here. Now, it actually doesn't know which one you want to use out of hand, uh, so it, you've got to pick the, the device you've got here. Um, actually supports any USB device that uh, appears in Windows as a game controller um, and that will, will appear in this list here so anything that you can use pretty much any USB joysticky uh, gamepad that Windows uh, detects so next so next is the wizard now in my case I don't need to run the wizard but if you've got a generic USB device that's connected to your transmitter or a, a USB device that isn't listed in the presets then you need to go you need to go through the wizard personally I'd like to do the wizard anyway because it just makes sure that if I've got any if my transmitter pots are a bit worn or anything like that it just helps to get the centers and the limits spot on so center the sticks hit next throttle up to the top hit next down next rudder left next rudder right next header on left next right forward back right and that's done so then click finish and then go to channels and we'll just make sure that that's working properly so yep yeah, I'm getting up and down left right on the rudder left and right on the aileron back and forth on the elevator and you can just double check that it's doing what you think you're doing with the with the transmitter up the top here okay so functions uh, the next thing uh, this is something new we've added um, you might notice the similarities between things like clean flight and uh, bait flight and that sort of thing. Um, so, 
at the moment I've got channel 7 assigned to RPM 1 so if you want to assign a channel you just click on the button move this move the, uh, the toggle um, or move the switch you want so then that's back which is fine I, that's so it goes green when it uh, when it's on um, and we've also got a thing called toggle mode so if you're using a button rather than a switch uh, you can use the button to to toggle it on and toggle it off uh, mine's a switch so I'm going to do that and then RPM2 I'm going to leave it on the same switch so I've got a three, three position switch um, and then you can move these sliders to do what you want so I'm going to have that on in the middle like that so then I've got RPM1 RPM2 and then RPM3 oh, okay so now I've got both of them coming on together so I'm going to hit the reverse button so now I get one, two, three. Okay, and everything else works exactly the same. Uh, so we've got all the stuff for the helicopters in this tab, all the stuff for the planes in this tab, gear, flaps, dual rates, weapons, and then we've got stuff for drones here. Now currently this in this uh, dev release doesn't have the uh, uh, the arm switch in there, but it will have the arm switch in there for, for the beta version. And that's pretty much it. Um, the calibrate is just almost like the wizard, but without uh, reassigning the um, the channels, you just uh, just to recalibrate if you've had uh, an issue with your transmitter or whatever. Um, and then we've got this help page. So we've got keyboard shortcuts should you want to use them instead of setting up switches, or if you haven't got buttons or switches available for on your USB device, you can do that. Or if you run out of channels or whatever. Uh, you can you can just use the, uh, uh, the, the shortcuts. And uh, if you've got any problems, drop us an email, support at accuracy.com. That's it for this uh, little show through. Thank you very much for, for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the other side.